six figures uh, with all in the background. They just tried to do the same thing with me. I was like, nah, leave a donation. <laughs> nah, nah, yo, they culture vultures. Yo, look, yo, the more I put you on, the more I put you on. <laughs> Look, my man said he don't even need a boo. <laughs> my man freestyle. He don't need a boo. Uh, Rue, what up? What's up, what up, man? Round three? You know what? Come on, dude. I don't gotta, want that. You're not on my level, dude. I'm not on your level. I know. This man puts in hard work. Yeah. Your yeah. early childhood boy. Yeah. Real talk. Oh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't know what's up with him. Right here with you. Yo, God, listen. I got you right now. I don't smoke, so don't pull out no weed. <laughs> anyway, Born Mastermind Law teaches me that weeds are actually uh, contrary to the original people's body structure, which is photovoltaic, and weeds that are parasitic by nature would be detrimental to our health, and therefore I wouldn't pull out no weed, brother. But uh, Yo, this is my organization. I want you to look this up, man. Right? This is about the hemp industry, right? Indigenous culture was based on hemp. One of our main products was hemp. Yo, tell them. Produced, yo, one of the main products was hemp because it because produced. we produced over a hundred. Uh, we had over a hundred uses for it, right? So, right now, when people talk about freedom, our freedom existed in a single plant because that plant produced medicines, produced fabrics, it produced uh, teas, it produced concrete. Hemp concrete absorbs carbon dioxide out the air, thus purifying the air, right? Healing the people. So when we talk about indigenous culture, our indigenous culture was based on crops, on agriculture, and hemp was one of the main ones, right? So if cats ain't talking to you about this hemp industry, they're not talking to you about indigenous culture. They're not talking to you about indigenous economics. Actual facts. Sanko over here too? Not that Sanko. Oh, oh, oh. It's a building, though. It's a building, trying to get a round three. I'm just saying it's all based on agriculture. But agriculture is based on nationality. Well, it's based on the, the product that the ground produces but, and your relationship. And your relationship to it. Or your relationship to that land. Uh. That's what I'm saying. So in nationality terms, only saying that, that if we were in the Americas and you would have rights over that those crops, crop, the natural resources before somebody wasn't Aboriginal or, the, or indigenous to that land. That's or what that the nation. Indian Act is deal with. And yeah. the Negro Act and all those laws that was passed yeah. that yeah. outlawed our laws. culture. Exactly. Right? Facts. No culture on the planet was outlawed other than ours. That's our right. culture here. That's right? right. And had everything to do with the, with what, what they call marijuana, right? But that was just one that was just one strain of what that plant produced. That plant produced many other chemicals that healed the body. Right? That's right. So this is what they took from us under the auspice of marijuana, right? Which is a, 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 a ethnic term that they use that they put on the word, you know what I mean, to, to demonize it. You know what I'm saying? The Lenape word for hemp, uh -huh. I mean for t-shirt is hemp set. Right? So what we Guess call what the is made our out clothes, of. we call our clothes hemp set. This is where they get the term hemp from. Talk about you know it. I mean, so that's our, our freedom lying the crops, lying the ground, lying, lying us, you know, dealing with agriculture, respecting the mother. You know what I mean? That's where our freedom's at. And once we start dealing with that, we'll be able to, you know what I mean, take back our nationalities, our cultures, and everything Our else customs, our traditions, our religion, our language, our historic continuity, as well as as well as well perpetuating and propagating a body politic or organized rural society, which is society ran by laws in order for the better conduct of the people within a nation, which will compose a country, and a country is going to be what a person has a relationship with in order to affect nationality, because nationality is the, per is the legal relationship between a person and a country. What he was saying and what he was saying while I got the floor, yo, honest to my man, Danny Davisowitz, this brother right here, when you talk about indigenous science, they're here, sign my clipboard, you know you wanna, this is the brother right here that you gotta be talking to, right here, Turtle Gang, it sound good, Turtle Gang, edutainment, it sound good. Can I add on real quick, that events like this, you know, these open air markets and whatnot, where our people are coming together, this would almost be like a dry run of what we're talking about having our own nation. This is almost a dry run of what it is to look like if we had our own. 
You know how good you feel when you come amongst your people in situations like this? Well, imagine this is how we lived before. Millions of us. And, and it was just open. It was, it, it was, we did commerce. You know, the way that we were able to take our culture and the way that we're able to commodify our culture, the way that, the way that we're able to barter and share because fair exchange is no robbery. If you give me $20 for something that's very beautiful and ported, it's part of the culture, then, you know, it's gonna, it might last you for 20 years. So, you know, this setting that we have is only, uh, uh, it's only to remind us what it is to be amongst ourselves when we're vibrating on a high energy. It's not because we're better than people. It's not because we're, you know, righteous Christians. It's just because we're in touch with the culture and in touch with, by doing that, it takes us in touch with our higher self. You can't, you can't act like a nigga in, in environments like this because your DNA responds to environment. So because the environment is such at a high accelerated rate, it's vibrating at such a high frequency, your DNA will respond to that, and then that's why we can't be on no nigga shit right now. That's why you don't see niggas walking around drooping, staring at you like they hate you. Men will look at you like they adore you, like they respect you and they love you, and try to see if you could pick up on it. And it's the same thing the other way around. So. You know, yeah, make sure you we just have to industry and the difference. Yeah, we just have to start visualizing. I love events like this because I'm a visualist. That's how you create. You create in your mind first. You gotta see it in order for it to come about. So when I'm standing out here and we walking and we building all of our all, all of the brothers, all of the sisters as a brotherhood and family, I'm envisioning we're we're in a state or, or, or a, a big ass land where all of us are just chilling. We ain't got to worry about police, so nobody got to nobody have to worry about no more. You got to live in that kind of fear state. You don't have to worry about turning on your news, because your news is going to speak to you, not out of fear, right? Because that's what they're doing, not out of depression. Do you know what the news does to your body? When you go in, that's the last thing that you watch before you go to sleep, and all they showed you was what? Death, murder, homicide, destruction, poverty, lack. And most of the times, it's a person that looks like you or their name sounds like you or something that's relating to you. That's what you go in the bed with. That's what you go into the, the underworld and the subconscious with. And we gotta snap out of that. And the only way that we'll do that is by coming amongst us. Even on that topic with the police, who I call policy, policy enforcers. Look at them. Look at their, look at their demeanor. You understand what I'm saying? There's no look of murder in their eyes. There's no look of, you know, they, they, they're they amongst sovereigns. They're amongst people of a higher class, so that shit vibrates with them, and they're like, they stay in order. Like, you know, they they walking through, smiling, happy, eating stuff. It just, it's just, it's, man, there, and there's no division with us with the Moors. We're all family. All of us are families. We know it's a lot of stuff that's out there right now. People going back and forth for social media. There is no division on anything that we do. We are universal. We deal with all of our people. So I just want to get that out there for everybody. This is our family. When we talk about industry, right, you have different divisions of what you call the hemp. You know what I mean? Niggas smoke on the street, they consumers, they buy it, you know what I mean? They deal with it from recreational perspectives. But there's a whole industry behind hemp, right? Like I said, over 100 applications. And if you familiarize yourself and educate yourself on those applications, as this hemp, as this wave comes, right, you're going to be able to take advantage of it because you're going to be able to develop applications for it, whether it be, uh, you know, uh, plastics, concrete, toothpaste, paper, you know what I mean? Like, there was a whole industry before trees were used for paper, hemp was used for paper, right? And it, hemp, the hemp plant grow much quicker. You don't have to destroy a whole tree to make paper. You can use the hemp. Yo, every industry from 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 the, the uh, gas industry, the oil industry, to the paper industry, to the alcohol industry, all of these took the place of what hemp was doing for us in a natural way. So we understand that this is an industry and it's not just about getting high. We can get back on what we deal with. We can be the agricultural matriarchal people that we're supposed to be. And we can put all this patriarchal stuff to rest. You know what I mean? We can be the, we the people. That's who we are. We the people. Peace.